What's going on, engineers? It's time to automate some more games, and this time it's going to be Bowling King. And not only are we going to automate it to beat our opponent, but we're going to beat them with a perfect game. We'll be using ADB, which is Android Debug Bridge, to accomplish this. ADB lets us do tons of different things to our Android phone, but the one that we're particularly interested in for this video is going to be the swipe action. In some of my other automating Android games videos, we used ADB through Python, but for this video, we're just going to use ADB directly because the solution is not that complicated for this one. So let's jump in and start blowing some perfect games. So let's start by looking at the mechanics of the game. Unfortunately, there's no practice mode, so we have to just jump into a real match. So we're up against Randy. He's probably going to beat us because we're just experimenting here. So as far as the mechanics go, it's really just you can move the ball left and right, and then you can swipe it up to throw the ball, but then you can move your phone around to actually guide the ball. So the moving the phone around, that's problematic because how can I guarantee you can see that you can really throw it off? So it's kind of sensitive. And if that's going to do that, how are we going to make sure that that is in the exact location every time? So because we need to make precision throws every time, we can't be dealing with the actual tilt of the phone. So rather than try to work around that, we're simply going to just disable that sensor. Fortunately, with Android 10, this is extremely easy. We can just go into our menu and turn sensors off. And then that's it. We don't have to worry about the accelerometer doing anything anymore. So our next goal is to actually make a throw. We want to just throw a straight shot. Now, the ball can be thrown at an angle. But rather than doing that, we're going to try to just throw it straight into the pins and see if we can get a strike every time. So I'm interested in now is the coordinates I have to throw it. So I know my screen is 1080 pixels wide, so I know the middle is going to be 540. As far as the distance to throw it, I'm using my debug tool. I'm going to start kind of about right here, which is about 1800 and go up to maybe 1400, something like that. So let's try our first command. We're going to use ADB shell input touchscreen. And then now I have to specify the X and Y starting point and then the X and Y ending point. So we said roughly 540, which is of course the middle point, and we'll start it at like 1700. And then we'll keep the 540. Keep in mind, this is just a straight shot, but we'll go up to 1400. Then the last value is how long it should take to do it. We'll try just 500 to start, so a half a second. But first I need to add the uh, swipe keyword. Now let's put this in our terminal and see if we can get it to do anything. So there it goes, it actually threw the ball, but is it going to actually do anything? So it did actually get us a strike. That actually worked really well. I don't know if that's a fluke or not, so we're just gonna run it again and see if we get another strike. So the ball goes. And it wasn't a strike that time. So I'm guessing even though we're swiping at the exact same point, there is still slight variances, although it's not being caused by the phone tilt because we've disabled that. Fortunately, we do have a command here that does something useful. It makes a 300 pixel swipe directly up the center of the phone. And it does in fact throw the ball and it did actually get a strike every now and again. So we'll save this for now. You know, throw ball is gonna be that command. So while this does blow a strike, it doesn't bullet consistently. So we gotta come up with a new command that's actually going to bull a strike every time. So we have really three options for this. We can either make it curve, which is not really possible because we've disabled the sensors. We could throw a diagonal shot, but that might be subject to the same kind of variation that the straight on shot is. The last, op the last option we could do is move the ball over a little bit and then take a straight shot into the pins. I'm not a bowler, but I seem to recall that that actually works in bowling. So first I get the position of the ball, so I'll start another game and find that out. So if I put my finger on the ball, I see that the position of the ball is roughly 540 by 1700. So as far as writing a command to move the ball, it's going to be similar to this command, except rather than moving it up, which would be, you know, in lowering the 1700 to 1400, instead we'll move 540 over to say like 500. And that should move it left 40 pixels. And we'll keep the same 1700, and we'll do that over say 400 seconds. Okay, so it's our turn again. Let's take our move ball command and run that and see if it moves the ball over a little bit. So it did, it moved it over 40 pixels just like it should. Now it will throw the ball straight up into the pins. And there it goes. Let's see if it works. It did, that was a strike, perfect. So it's our turn again, let's try our commands again. So we'll move the ball, and then we'll throw the ball. And we'll see if we get a strike. And we did, two in a row now. So it's a turn again, let's just try it a third time just to see if it's working consistently. So we moved it over 40 pixels, and then we'll send the ball down the lane. 
And another strike. Perfect. Everything's working. The last thing we gotta do before we try to bullet perfect game is just combine these two commands into one script. So we have our file here, but all we wanna do is just add a slight delay between the move action and the throw action. So about one second should be fine. Okay, let's go destroy somebody with a perfect game. All right, we're in a game. Sorry, Jose, but I gotta do it to you. So we'll run our script called bull and it moved it over and then it threw the ball. So hopefully it bulls a strike. All right, it did, great. Okay, second frame, run it again. And got a strike. Okay, third frame. Another strike. Fourth frame. Another strike. And then fifth frame, we'll try to bowl three in a row. So that's number one. Number two. And number three. And that's our perfect game. Jose put up a good fight, but he was just no match. And that's really all there is to it. Three lines is all it takes to bowl a perfect game. Now, of course, we could throw this in a loop and we could add a sleep at the end of the three lines and then we could just kind of let it go. We wouldn't have to touch it at all. But I think for the purpose of this video, this is probably good enough. Now, for those of you that don't have Android 10 and can't readily disable your sensors, I did do some testing with this with my sensors enabled. And as long as I had it on a perfectly flat surface and I didn't touch it, then this script, it still worked just the same. So if you want to test it out, just put your phone really flat and you'll be fine. And we're done. I know the solution was not super complex, but it did take a little work and some experimentation to arrive at a simple solution. And certainly disabling sensors did make it a whole lot easier. If you have any questions or comments about anything you saw in this video, or if you can think of some improvements to what I've done, please leave them below in the comments. If you know of a good game that you'd like me to try and automate, you should definitely also tell me below in the comments on what that game is. And other than that, hope to see everybody in the next video. Take care.